Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we continue working on our werewolf house modeling for the view. So the couple things um, that different shall kind of different from what you modeling before. It is in a way we separating roofs and some assigned of materials. We'll go a little bit more on this in the future. Right now, let's finish the modeling. And it can be semi what's similar for other applications you're using. We currently using hexagon for this. So what I want to go to do is just add one small shag right here. And it will be very simple and we'll just use the very primitives to create kind of look um, additional options right here. Made it maybe from some planks. So to do this, we have two ways we can do one we can actually create one wall okay like this and we can take this um okay let me shrink down okay we can take this wall after and we can go inside the materials inside the view and use a transparency to apply some kind of uh look like a wall for the shed this is one way other ways we can actually use it different type of the polygons and creating them maybe like this readjusting them shrinking them transforming and um, apply this way and let's do this way let's make have it a little bit more fun with modeling so example right here I duplicated them next I want distort them so I want create one maybe um, one way slightly reposition this way um, I want also go maybe go ahead and one and split in couple places okay, and go next after shrink it this way so you can see how you can have it a lot of fun with the creating different type of the plank just to be creating them slightly off okay I'll just reposition them we can go ahead and I'll duplicate it okay put it on another side Yeah, you know what? Let's take this one and rotate. So we have it. See my what different looking. Okay. Put right here. Take this one. Just slightly different, so it's look more as a, somebody put it together next we'll go ahead and copy one more time rotate okay. position right here and go so this is overall shape so we can do this way um, if you want more details we can add some options to the side but I want to leave it same like a right on the ground I want to have it just the ground here let's create um, a roof and we can do roof with uh, again a couple things the one way I want to do it is just creating cube. Okay, we'll go place it right here, rotating by holding down shift to 45 degrees. Okay, we'll put it down. Okay, the reason is why so we can kind of stretch and it's will give it us a very good perspective what we have right here. We can shrink down. And next what I'm going to do it is select these two tops we'll go to our vertex and we'll extract so at that point i don't need it other ones we'll just have it these 
two um, options we'll go add thickness to them okay maybe just a little bit bigger okay be sure we validate it at this point okay and right here we actually have it one portion of the roof so we can place it right here and we can duplicate it and leave its gaps those gaps will actually help us to um have this kind of light maybe going past through so it will look kind of interesting in this way okay we'll can go ahead select them okay our roof so be sure i just selected the roof can go ahead and just kind of position control G to group them together okay we'll move back to our place put it down okay we'll just select one of these copy rotating okay. positioning right maybe around here okay I'm going to select edge tools select um, edge right here on the bottom and slide it this way same things we'll select and we'll just slide this way so we're also we have it kind of roof and let's um, add one to the top and for this one I want to use to actually round okay well adjusting let's it bring to the side and I say this is nothing um it's not that hard to do I just want to do so we have it a different type of the modeling experience with this so just play around a little bit more with this okay placed right here let's select top shrink leave it down position this way we we'll also again select sides and just slightly distorted of course we can more adjust a little bit more we can add more um, splitting maybe in here on our middle and rework on the roof but this is a very fast way to do kind of like semi shadow on the back so we add it okay let's go ahead work on a one door for this and to do this we'll just same we'll create again cube okay and uh, next I'll just want to shape it to the size of the door okay Let's put it down right here expand it so this is about size of the door will be okay maybe even bigger because it's smaller house okay let's go bring in and like this Okay, so this is overall shape one thing what I want to do I want to just remove it for now just make one extra copy in case okay and again if you press down control and drag it will be duplicating next what I want to do it is start working to create a frame for our door but I don't want to spend too much uh, details and time so I'll create one when I highlight face I press and hold down control and drag 
see right here we created one so I'll pull out one side out well, I'll do one more time and now I'm kind of shrinking right here you can see on the middle okay you can also to do this you can shrink just your sides and next I'm pulling a little bit inside so it kind of you can see they're almost same almost on the same level so just slightly we do have it right here um, adjustment so I want to bring down in this case we have it right on the top and to adjust other things with this we need to have it edge tools we can take top edge and move it so we have it even kind of adjustment okay and if you feel it, you can also correct a little bit with the edge right here on the side okay so let's go ahead select again ours I press control key and now I'm dragging inside if you notice so and one thing what I want to do I want when I drag I want to drag about at the same level that I marked before so right here you can see we create a kind of for the door entrance so let's let me actually move a little bit more down okay and right here we have it our entrance so we'll move it to the wall again remember because I'm not cutting off holes inside there I need kind of think about what happened with this again with the VU because we don't use UV map we can go ahead when we select this object we can open face just select this face and create new domain so this point right here we have it separate um, kind of assigned to this as well if you want it we can go ahead take this sites and just create new domain for this as well okay let me sure I created new domain for that one as well okay so right here we can apply just the door material to these openings okay and we can apply to the sides as separate so here's kind of our door okay let's go ahead and call it door so we remember okay next I want to take it um oops my door at this point bring back okay and from this I actually want to shrink down okay and we'll create a steps right here on the bottom of our door Okay, we'll increase the size right here, put it stretch so I want to be, see it's kind of matching right here. We'll take a top and be sure it's kind of going all the way right about to the door. So maybe around right here. Okay, here's a couple interesting things. Um, right now if you notice I have it sometimes sharp corners like right here this is very sharp corner in real life you don't have those sharp corners you have it smooth corners so and as example and I recommend if you start working on this model and you want to kind of creating its look uh, more real and everything so I recommend you to just select the sharp corners list go inside the vertex and use the um, track of the kind of smooth our angles in this so right here you can see we don't have a sharp corners so in that case it's kind of help you to create um, better looking with the door and other stuff okay, let me take this door and maybe move slightly to the side so it's kind of helpful in this way um, also by the door let's add a um, few pillars and just maybe top cover for this to do pillars again we'll go ahead we'll do um, cylinders okay and I'll just leave it as default again um, I don't worry too much about 
smoothing this cylinder because how I say some wood when you start cutting off the surprisingly it's not that round at all we also move to the edge right here and um you know what let's make a slightly more interesting looking pillars so we have it some kind of this is one pillar we can just duplicate pillar and um, let's put roof over so for this same just cylinder stretching squishing and do all those other effect like right here Okay, and we have it right around this area. The couple things, um, what's happening right here, you can see how we have it does not touch the roof, these options right here, these two things, uh, pillars. We can take the and bend it and make them match. However, because for the support, what I recommend to do, we actually don't need to worry about that, we'll just, create another um, pillar, move it right here. So it will look more as a support. Okay, around this area. And what we're going to do, we go to actually modify this pillar. So we'll, t well, this support beam. So I'm just going to add right here. maybe create right here so you can see we're still creating look um support but it's more real in this case looking okay and let's add some edge to this so i'm going to select um our top roof i'm going to select edge tools and i'm selecting these edges right here on the side Okay, next I'm going to lines and I'm going to extract. Next we'll go to surface and we'll add thickness to this. And this is actually very good thickness and I'm creating and validating. I don't need to worry about closing ends if I don't um, see. However, if they're visible, we probably want to close them. And also let's bring slightly down okay, right here. So our ends is kind of not visible there, so I don't worry about closing them. But overall, it is um, yep, okay. So it's look, we have some nice thickness to our roof. And this is a very fast way to create a roof um, to our house. Okay, we can go ahead and maybe add one or couple more windows to this house and I think we're very close to the end part of the modeling and we'll start working with the texturing and uh, some um, tips how we can assign what type of the texture to what we can assign so it will help us okay let's um, same ways we'll create the windows and the one way we'll can create um, here's a couple things we can do one we can create a shape of the window again it's have it multiple ways you can create different type of windows but okay so I'll show you one way and again I want to make this extra thick because I'm not cutting off okay, and, and you know what till we here let's make some more interesting looking windows so we have right here I'm going to select these edges right here, one and two. And I'll go bring them slightly together. Okay. I'm going to extract one of these, shrink a little bit down, be sure it's thickness, put it inside. Okay, so about this way. 
um, I think it's okay. We can have to readjust. And next thing is what I want to do is what we don't use in surface um, boolean operation. So I want to extract on boolean. So you can see we have it nicely kind of created. The one thing what also you want to do, be sure you validated this. On this case, we can start working with the surfaces right here on the middle. So it's kind of nicer. Again, I can do this way and just kind of readjusting. So be sure our thickness it's about right. Okay, about this way. Okay, so here's a one kind of window. We also maybe you know what? Let's do this way. Okay, I'm going to select oops the outside ones not inside outside and you know what maybe we just slightly increase them inside so we have it kind of interesting looking window on in this uh, let's go ahead and create inside um, support for the window it's kind of glass support or whatever we want to call this Okay, so we'll have it one right here, and we have it maybe about one on the bottom around here. Again, I creating those slightly thicker. So for my glass, okay, let me go ahead and just adjust this one, bring down. Okay, next um, we can extract, but uh, we'll just create glass this way as well. So we'll go ahead. Just expand this way. Just want to be sure there. Okay, kind of matching. We'll select again these edges, bring them down. Okay, and shrink our glass. But still have a thickness. So we can go after any materials. And again, just select front, apply one domain, select back, and create another one. So right here we have it our window. Okay, let's see if it's look okay when we place it in. Okay. Or we can do this way. So it's up to you how you want to place it. I'll just place this way. right here one window let's go ahead and copy on another side just rotate okay, and placed windows right here Okay, well, I think we very close to be done all the way. This is just last windows we're placing. Okay, again, let me bring up. It's kind of center. And down to about right here. Okay, so right here we have our house done. With some windows we can you can add way more details and you can see how you can add more and more details but again we spend already quite a bit time on this modeling this example house for werewolves so let's go ahead and um, apply a few materials to our model I'll just before actually we'll do yeah, I think
think right here I want to just modify one thing very fast. And again, its problem is when you start kind of working on this, you will never finish. So you always want to do more and more. And just want to create something different for this window. No, doesn't look good. So we'll leave it like this. Okay, and we'll come back to our next tutorials to start working and assign materials and facings for this model.